So we've had the weigh-in for Alexander Usek versus Tony Bellew. Fight's happening tomorrow night. I cannot wait for this fight. I've been looking forward to this ever since it was announced. And we had the weigh-in today. Both guys came in under the 200-pound limit. I believe Tony Bellew was 199 pounds and Alexander Usyk was 198 in around that. Okay, Both guys look in good shape. Both guys seem to have made the weight. No real issues. There was a lot of kind of concern about Tony Bellew coming down away from heavyweight. Personally, I didn't see it as a massive issue because, you know, he's only been fighting, you know, about 10 to 12 pounds over the cruiserweight limit, which you would imagine he would probably rehydrate naturally even when he was fighting a cruiserweight. So I didn't really make too much of him, you know, taking the weight off because he's a natural cruiserweight realistically. So I didn't see any kind of major concern with that. He'd probably just have to restrict a little bit of his food. Other than that, he was probably fine making the weight. So both guys look in tremendous shape. Both guys had a nice stare down and you know one thing about this fight is the stare downs they've been having have been quite good. They've been a very intense stare downs. Like I remember when they got in the ring at Wembley uh, on the AJ Pavekin card. You know that was an intense stare down. I made a video on that. Um, very intense. So both guys ready for war. Bellew, I can't. Prior to what people may think, I do like Bellew. I've always liked Bellew ever since I saw him fight. You know Adonis Stevenson. Even though I picked him to lose that fight, obviously I didn't make a video at the time. But I knew he wouldn't win that fight just because of stylistically and because, you know, he was clearly, you know, struggling a bit at light heavyweight. So back then I didn't think he would win something like that or he'd win a fight like that. But he's grown on me over the years and I picked against him in several fights. I picked him to win several fights. Um, so, you know, it, at the end of the day, I picked him to beat Makabu as far as I remember. I think I beat, picked him to win that fight and... I picked him to lose both David Hay fights. Now, I picked him to lose the first David Hay fight because I thought that this was a David Hay, not at his prime, but not that far removed, if you know what I mean. Um, obviously, I didn't know how bad it was. You know, David Hay was completely finished. He was over the hill. He was ridden with injuries. I mean, his body was finished in retrospects in 2013 after the Chisora fight. That was when his body just said enough's enough. So, you know, I picked against Bellew before at my detriment. And I remember the first David Hay fight. I confidently picked David Hay to win that fight. I was very, very sure that David Hay would win that fight. And he didn't. But with David Hay, there was still the unknown. I mean, I know I say unknown. I mean, we all knew he was not the David Hay who fought you know, Derek Chazor or Jean-Marc Mormec. But we thought he wasn't that far removed. It was only in the fight you realised, you know, he was way gone. But with Usek... We know Usek is in his prime, basically, in the prime of his career. He's 31, 32 years old. You know, he is firing all cylinders. And he's not had to put himself through anything like David Hay has. So, this isn't this isn't the same scenario, I guess is what I'm saying. And Usek will probably be the most skilled fighter that Tony Bellew will have ever fought, amateur or pro. And why will I pick against him? Do I think he has a chance... Look, Tony Bellew can punch. We know that. Tony Bellew has more heart than I think anyone Alexander Usyk's ever fought. Definitely. But I just can't see it. I just can't see him. I think that the movement, the speed, the work rate, to an extent the punching power. Because, okay, Usyk might not be the biggest puncher in the world, but I'm sure his punches don't tickle. You know, if you go and ask Mora Kasiev or Myris Bredis, does he hit hard? I'll probably tell you he does. His punches definitely don't tickle. And I think he will find a home for them punches on Tony Bellew, especially the uppercut. I think the uppercut will be key for Usyk in this fight. Um, I think if he can come inside, you know, get a few uppercuts off and then pivot to the side, I don't think Bellew will have the speed to be able to deal with that. I don't think he'll have the, the reflex, the timing to deal with that. That's, in my opinion, he might. He might surprise me, but I don't see it. I think Alexander Usyk even has the longer reach in this fight. And we've seen Bellew have trouble when, you know, fighters do just decide to snap a jab out. Which Alexander Usyk can do. He can just snap a jab out. And it's a very good jab. You know, he doubles up on it. It's not the most powerful jab, but he doubles up on it. And he's very precise with it. And he can keep a lot of opponents off of him with it. So, I think that in, that, in aspects like that, on the inside and on the outside, I think Usyk will have that covered. I think Tony Bellew, because I went back and I watched um, with the Sky commentary... Usek's fight against Glowacki uh, back in Poland a couple of years back. And I think both Dave Caldwell and Tony Bellew were saying, you really want to just get on top of Usek and just smother him, not let him have a moment to rest. I think that could work. But I think, again, 
someone like an Usyk, he may have that touted. You know, he's been around the block. He knows what it's like to have people, you know, try and come up on top. I don't think that'll work. And I don't think Bellew will be able to maintain that for 12 rounds. I'm really kind of struggling to see how Tony Bellew will win this fight. But I've been proven wrong countless times by Bellew. I could be proven wrong this time. But on this occasion, I doubt it. I think that Alexander Rusek will probably stop Bellew. He might not, but I think he I think he will. I think the work rate will get to him. And I think as big as Bellew's heart is, I think Rusek will break it. That's what I'm thinking. And my prediction is late stoppage for Rusek or a wide points decision. Definitely. Um, if Bellew wins, I think it'll be by knockout. And I think he will have to you know, go through fire to land that punch if he can. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this fight again. I'm looking forward to it. I was going to make this video during the week, but I said I'd do it after the weigh-in because it would kill two birds with one stone. And uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts on this. And you know, let me know yours and let's see what we think. Let's see what happens tomorrow night. Because I'm looking forward to this fight. Um, I'm probably going to get that vi the video, the post video up on Sunday because I'm actually going to a few friends to watch this fight tomorrow. So it won't be tomorrow evening. So if anyone's expecting a post fight video, don't expect it tomorrow. Expect it Sunday. Okay? So other than that, I'm going to leave you with my thoughts. And I'm out.